This is Jupiter Today for the 30th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede also in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto's in quadrant four, heading east all day long. Six hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant four, heading east, and by 12 hours UTC, EO has moved behind Jupiter, and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is at its eastern elongation and is moving into quadrant two, going to be heading west. Ganymede continues in quadrant one, and Callisto is still in quadrant four. And by 1800 hours, EO is still moving in quadrant one, getting close to its eastern elongation. Europa is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO's past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two heading west. These are the Apajove and Perijove plots again that I introduced yesterday. This is the distance in kilometers from Io to Jupiter and this is the UTC down here, and as you can see, EO goes through a apogee at about 7:45 UTC at a distance of 423,534.2 kilometers. Europa is moving towards its apogee, which will be happening tomorrow. Ganymede is just past its apogee and now moving towards Jupiter. And Callisto continues to move away from Jupiter, moving slowly towards its apogee. And the orbital ribbons. Again, here's a schematic of the the same orbits. Here's the orbit of Io over the next 24 hours, and Europa, and Ganymede, and Callisto. And it's all I've done is connected these two lines at the same time for each line. And it creates these interesting patterns, which I call twisted ribbons. Black dot in the center is Jupiter. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and here's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and Ganymede and Callisto. And then put all together, it makes quite an interesting little pattern there. There are two Jupiter satellite events today. The first at 9.17 UTC, when EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 11.47, EO reappears from behind Jupiter. There's one satellite mutual event today. And that goes from 15.57 to 16.06 UTC, when Europa occults Ganymede. This is a 9.1 minute event with a very shallow occultation of 0.089 magnitudes. But Ganymede's a nice distance away from Jupiter, as seen from Earth, 187.38 arc seconds. As you can see on the Google Earth map here, this is the position of Jupiter at the zenith when this event takes place. 
and the Western Pacific, Australia, and a lot of Asia will be able to see this event. There were some new sets of radio data taken. This is on the 29th of January. And there was also a new image posted. I like the name of this observatory, the Shoestring Observatory. Very nice cloud patterns there. And there were no new papers. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 24 minutes, 42.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 11 minutes, 57.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth today, is 171.051 degrees, and that's 1.14 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 1.645 degrees, and that's 0 0.208 degrees less than what it was yesterday. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. So imagine you're standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds. This is what you'll see over the next 24 hours. Here's Eo going to be moving in front of Callisto. Eo definitely makes its rounds today. The distance between Earth and Jupiter continues to get shorter and shorter as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February, just a few days away now. Today the distance is 651,437,579 kilometers, and that's 366,922 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 15,288.42 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,947.25 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun continues to get larger and larger. Today it's 797,329,274 kilometers. That's 46,585 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,941.04 kilometers per hour moving away from one another. And that's 2.08 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 319.84 degrees. CM2, 34.05 degrees. CM3, 300.51 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.18 UTC on the 30th of January, 2015. So please subscribe and welcome to the new subscribers. Thanks for watching and listening. I hope this is interesting 
and informative. I would greatly appreciate any comments or suggestions to make it even better. I'm always trying to think of interesting things to show. I like to show different perspectives on this very dynamic system. I have a lot of ideas for future projects. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.